In this video tutorial, we are going to graph the given quadrat equation without using a calculator. As you can see that this given quadrat equation is in a vertex form, as you can see. And our vertex form is usually in this shape or in this form y equals to a times x minus h squared plus k let me just give you a just a little bit brief kind of uh, intro information a is just simply is going to tell you how big the stretch is how big the parabola is going to look like or the graph so this is going to tell you the stretch stretch it can also tell you does it opens up or opens down okay so this is what it's gonna do so when it says stretch mean it can means that means is it how skinny is it or how fat is it skinny or what or fat the graph is gonna be about this one over here h represents the horizontal shift that means the shift along x-axis and while k represents a vertical shift vertical shift means along y-axis given all these info so we're gonna find out what is our in this given equation what is our a what is our h and what our k so this this is two is our a here our in this case over here h is gonna be simply negative one if you compare with these things is this a negative sign this is a positive so you have to watch out and our k is going to be how much negative three so thus keep in your mind that a equals to how much a is simply what two h is negative one k is negative three and by the way this uh, quadratic equation is also called a uh, parabola so in this step we want to see whether this graph is going to open up or down the really simple way is just look at this number two this is your a equals to two since this is a positive so that means this is gonna open up so this is gonna what this is gonna opens up so just keep in your mind in this step number two we're going to find the vertex always remember that vertex is just remember vertex is simply your h comma k ordered pair so this is going to be your h comma k in our uh, example over here h is we figured out h is negative one and k is what negative three so that means that is pretty much it so our vertex is going to be simply what vertex is going to be negative 1 comma negative 3 that's it in step 3 we want to figure out what is the axis of symmetry so let me just give you a real really simple way of finding axis of symmetry whatever stuff is in your parentheses over here which is what as you can see is x plus one inside just set that one equal to zero so that means what i'm going to say is i'm going to put x plus one equal to zero always whatever is in your parentheses just set it equal to zero that means x is going to give you how much negative one and that is your axis of symmetry aos in step four we want to figure out what is y intercept as you know for y intercept we must put x equal to zero 
and plug it in x equal to 0 in our original equation. So that means this x becomes 0. So let's do that one. So that's going to be how much y equals to 2 times wherever you see x replace it by 0 plus 1 square minus 3. So what is going to happen? That's going to give you what? 2 and this is going to 0 plus 1 is 1 square minus 3 so that's going to be what 1 squared is 1 2 times 1 minus 3 which is 2 minus 3 which is a negative 1 so y equal to negative 1 is our y intercept in step 5 uh, we are going to find x-intercept. So for x-intercept, you know that we must put y equal to what is 0 in our original equation. So we know our original equation is what? Our original equation is y equals to 2 times x plus 1 square minus 3 isn't it so wherever you see y you just put this y set it equal to 0 so that means we're gonna get what so we can put this thing as what I'm gonna put down 2 times x plus 1 square minus 3 equal to what 0 isn't it let's go ahead and solve for x so you have to be very careful. First, we want to get rid of this th negative 3. We want to add 3 on both sides. This is gone. So we got 2 times x plus 1 square equal to positive 3. So the next thing what we're going to do is we want to divide both sides by what? 2. So this 2 and this 2 is gone. So we got pretty much how much? x plus 1 square equal to what? So this is 3 over 2 could be written as 1.5. So the next thing what we're going to do is let's go ahead and get rid of this square by taking the square root on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take the square root on both sides. This what happens over here this square and square root they are gone so what we got right now over here so we got x plus 1 equal to positive or negative since we are dealing with the quadratic functions we have a positive and negative always without this answer so the square root of 1.5 is more or less equal to how much can you tell me it's going to be a 1.23 approximately so what we're going to do next i want you to uh, subtract one on both sides so this is gone so we got what x equals to turns out to be how much negative one plus or minus one point Two, three. So what is going to be the next step? We could uh, just simply go ahead and split them up. So this become negative 1 plus 1.23. The other one is going to be negative 1 minus 1.23. So this turns out to be how much? This turns out to be a 0 0.23. That is your one of your x intercepts. All right. And over here, a negative 2.23, that is your another x intercept. So we got two x intercepts. And finally, in the final step, we're going to go ahead and plot this graph given so i have put up uh, put down all these info as you can see over here whatever we have uh, figured out in our previous steps 
the graph opens up axisymmetry vertex x intercept and y intercept so the very first thing i want you to just keep in your mind that we are going to figure out x of symmetry x equal to negative one so x equal to negative one is right up here so i want to make sure that our this dotted vertical line is our this is our vert this is our x of symmetry a o s which is how much x equal to what negative one so the next thing we need to figure out what we need to figure out vertex is what vertex is negative one comma negative three is right up here so this is negative one comma negative three this is your vertex so the next thing we need to figure out what our x intercept x intercept is x equal to 0 0.23 0 0.23 is going to be pretty close to a zero just right up here so this is 0 0.23 on this side the other x intercept is negative 2.23 is going to be right up here negative zero negative 2.23 make sure negative 2.23 all right and finally we need to see what is our y intercept y intercept is negative one where is the negative one y intercept that means the point on y axis is this one over here so we know that this is the axis symmetry this dotted line is behaving like a mirror whatever you see over here on the other side other side of this axis symmetry you're going to see the same thing like as image eco distance same distance so it's going to show up right up here is image okay so that point is going to be a what that's going to be a negative two comma negative one so we got enough info now we're going to go ahead and plot the the graph by connecting these points so let's go ahead and do this thing so let's go ahead and do just bear with me this is going to go like this way and on this side So this is going to go like this one over here, like this one. So it doesn't look like a good kind of graph, but at least I tried. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more videos.